Here's everything you need to know for the week beginning April 5th, 2021. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning April 5th, 2021. I forgot to say Happy Easter. <laughs> so anyway, happy belated Easter everybody. I forgot to say that last week. So what are we dealing with? Again, transformation, okay? It's just more of the same. So <laughs> hang with me here. So if you want some help, we have a big uh, Archangel Michael presence over us. So this is helping us save ourselves from ourselves. Yes. And from our choices and from the people that we invite into our world. Now, for some of you over the past couple of weeks, you might've been able to bring peace to your situation. Uh, you might have gotten some clarity on how you want to move forward in your life. What makes you feel at home grounded? What is meaningful to you? So this is a big one. You know, what is the meaningful work? What direction do you want to go in? Okay. So transformation can be Archangel Osriel as well. Archangel Osriel gets a bad reputation for being the angel of death. Okay. But Archangel Osriel does help you with grief. So if you are in this transformative stage, you're grieving a relationship or God forbid, if you did actually lose somebody, I, I hope that's not the case. My love to you all. Um, you know, you're grieving a situation it's an end of an era for you maybe, or something along those lines. Whatever it is, Archangel Osriel can help you come on through that. Archangel Zadkiel, okay, I always have to spell that, Z-A-D-K-I-E-L. Archangel Zadkiel can help with transmutation. Think violet flame, burning up old patterns. That's been a big thing for us, right? <laughs> so that is what we're still continuing to do. Opening new pathways. This can be very scary for a lot of people because especially some of you out there, you say, I can't change my path because I have a family or I can't change my path because this is a family business. And if I go off and do something else, that's letting my family down. Or for some, you feel like you're letting your soul tribe down. That somehow if I allow myself to be happy, and I move on to a new love, or I move on to other soulmates and start learning from other soulmates that somehow we're abandoning our divine love partner. Well, here's the thing. Both of you have to show up. When we have soulmates come into our lives. They are teaching us something. And yes, we have to be paying attention, but you're teaching them something as well. So if they're not willing to do the work, if they're still just walking away and being in denial, I really feel like we all, we all need to hear this, that we have to start looking at what situations have, you know, throughout our entire history repeated. What is that about? And is it time for something new? And if somebody won't go along with that, now, obviously if you're in a marriage, you gotta be careful with this, but <laughs> you know, don't, don't go walking away from your marriages, you know, just because you feel like your partner is not growing as fast as you or what have you, but give yourself this time to settle in and understand who you are now. Who have you become? This is absolutely imperative because if you don't, you're not going to fit into where the world is heading. Okay. We as individuals, we are vibrating in this collective. And so if we're not ready for that shift and change, now you're struggling. Okay. So just be mindful of that. Let's get some cards. Let's see what we have going on here. So overall, I feel like this week is one of Again, there still might be some residual grief, um, some finishing out. It's not going to happen overnight. Like when I say finishing out lessons, it's just finishing out this portion of the lesson. Okay. Oh, oh, you know what? You can't see me being messy over here. I guess that's a good thing. Why am I putting it up in the camera? You don't need to see this. <laughs> About drop the deck every time I shuffle. There it is again. Okay. Y'all, I'm telling you. If you're getting value out of these videos, thank you for subscribing and sharing and liking. It helps out a ton. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm feeling like there's a split energy for a lot of people here. Some of you are finally, it just depends on where you are on your path. You know, some of you are coming on through and you're like, I get it. That was painful, but I got through. And others are sitting in the pain. I mean, what can you do? All right. Yeah, here we go. 
pink opal. Pink opal is something that, it's a crystal that's, it's a very loving crystal, but it's something that you can use to get through grief, to help heal your heart. And this is be kind to yourself. So be kind to yourself. It's going to look different for all of you, but acknowledge what you're going through and don't be afraid. Okay. To say, yeah, this is where I made mistakes or you know what? I did have to let that go. It was the most painful thing. I held on for years and years and years, hoping that things would be different and they're not. And now I just have to you know, come on through. So allow your heart to mend. For some of you out there, if you got to have some bit of healing around a situation or with a, like a relationship or something like that, it's still this like this hurt that has to go away. You might've gotten new information. Or maybe you have a new perspective. Maybe you are taking accountability and realizing, oh my gosh, I, I wasn't careful with that person or whatever, okay? This is the week to take it easy. And, you know, a lot of self-nurturing, self-care, not feeling sorry for yourself necessarily, but allowing that to flow away, okay? Yeah, more healing. Amethyst, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. You know how you need to heal. You know the areas and the patterns that need to now um, just let them flow away. They just keep saying, go with the flow, allow it to flow away. You don't need to hang on to something. And they're saying that a lot of people will hang on to pain to keep an eye on it. And if we keep an eye on it, maybe it can't rear its ugly head and come for us, right? So this is not that time anymore. It's not that time anymore. You deserve to be free. You deserve to feel good in your heart. You don't have to carry guilt, shame, you know, anger, resentment, you don't, you don't need to, you don't need to keep a house for that. If that makes any sense. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Angel aura quartz, lighten up, lighten up. And that means bring the light in. Can you even see this? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this too well <laughs> under the lights, but, um, it's time to give ourselves a break. You're giving your heart a break, releasing the pressure around it, releasing the pushing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Eric and I release your emotional baggage. Oh, it is all about the heart healing. And if you're doing heart healing, this is Archangel Raphael. Okay, it's also Archangel Shamuel. I associate Archangel Shamuel with the higher heart. Um, but Raphael is all about soulmates and all about um, your emotions and of course healing and all of that. So in order to release yourself, you're gonna have to sit with this. But I feel like this has a, a slightly more peaceful approach than the past couple of weeks. You know what I mean? I like this Michael deck. So let's, let's pull a couple of cards out of here too. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> here it is. Spend more time outdoors. This is asking you to detoxify, balance, get grounded, work with Archangel Sandalfin or Archangel Ariel. Uh, great associations with the earth and earth healing, letting your electromagnetic field even out. Okay. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature again to get yourself in a more grounded, balanced space. This would be a great time to do chakra balancing, chakra healing. Uh, maybe even you know, there's tons of online quizzes, <laughs> Let's see where you are a little out of balance, but you can also do that intuitively. We have that amethyst, trust your intuition card. So you know, sort of intuitively, what do you feel that you need? I know that I had to move to Colorado Springs because I, I, I didn't realize this until after I got here, but um, I was finding my strength and trying to get my self-esteem back and trying to be grounded and detoxifying. I wanted to heal. And weirdly, I ended up right next to the mountains, the very picture of strength and healing and groundedness. And um, now I find magic every time I go out and hike. Uh, one of my favorite things were coming up on spring. So the big old fat bumblebees are going to be out. <laughs> the butterflies. I've actually literally been hiking and had my hands out and butterflies were just swarming all around me. It was like the most uplifting, magical thing ever. Not to mention all the hummingbirds. I mean, there's a very specific trail that I go on and the hummingbirds are just all over the place. And they'll come and they'll hover right in front of me and then they'll dart off. And, you know, that has all been incredibly healing. So don't diminish, you know, how important it is to be out in nature, especially if you're an empath. You need nature. You need to be recharged. 
Okay, that feels like that. Have confidence. Yeah, look at this. Uh, Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. So this is what you're healing. There's been a big energy drain for a lot of people. And it has to do with situations. It's like very human situations that have taught you something on a soul level. Pretty simple, right? So now you're realizing, okay, I don't have to keep swimming and, and I don't know, I don't need to keep draining myself over X, Y, and Z, okay? It, it has that kind of feel to it. So let's get a color card. What else do we have? What are the messages do we have? They just keep saying, be at peace, be at peace. And I see flowers blooming. I see people wanting a fresh start. I thought that was the card, but it wasn't. <laughs> there it is. Okay, this one. Oh. It, oh, I guess I should show you. Hi, here it is. Uh, it's white and it says lighten up. The number's 24. <laughs> what do we have? Oh my gosh. These both, these both say lighten up. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> lighten up, lighten up. You're aching too much out of a situation or um, you're being too hard on yourself. Yeah, or maybe you're being too hard on someone else because you feel so um, unhealed and maybe you feel like you're being attacked all the time. And so, you know, that can really get us into that, you know, uh, that muddy kind of lower frequency where it's like, oh God, everything is a struggle. Everything I'm having to... You know, instead they're saying you can kind of float over <laughs> the top of it. But whatever it is for you, there's this double message here of lighten up. You're not going to see these cards. They're just white under the lamps. You know, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> but anyway, there's our message for this week. I think it's going to be incredibly freeing. Try not to take things so seriously. Give your heart a chance to heal and get through whatever it is that you're trying to get through. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.